Our study in this session uh, is entitled How a Christian Deals with Sin in Their Life. What is the godly response for you and me when we sin against the Lord as a Christian? We know that God forgives our sin at the cross. Uh, when we become a Christian, he, he washes our sins away. But how does a Christian deal with the sins that he commits after he becomes a Christian? We need to understand what the scripture has to say about this so that we can live victorious lives by the power of the Spirit. Satan will try to condemn you as a Christian when you sin. But the Holy Spirit will convict you when you sin. And there's a great difference between condemnation or being condemned by, the, by Satan and being convicted by the Holy Spirit. When a Christian sins, some of the things Satan says is, I told you so, you're not a good Christian. Or as a Christian, if you sin against the Lord, uh, Satan will say that uh, uh, you don't have the power to overcome sin. I'm stronger than God. Or he'll say, if you were a Christian, you wouldn't do that. And he brings guilt on us. And there's heaviness. And often depression will come on us. This is basically what we call condemnation. Perhaps an illustration of this, if you had a parent that was abusive in their language and they were always telling you you're no good and you're not worth anything and you'll never amount to anything, that's condemnation. But the Holy Spirit doesn't condemn, the Holy Spirit convicts. And the way the Holy Spirit convicts is He, he convicts us or shows us uh, our sin. He identifies it so that we understand in our heart, our spirit, that it is sin. And rather than condemning us about the sin, he shows us the righteousness of Jesus. And when we in our spirit see the righteousness of Jesus, we realize what we just did was a sin. And so you need to recognize the difference between the condemnation that the devil brings on you when you sin as opposed to or contrasted with the conviction that the Holy Spirit brings to you. You remember when Jesus left the earth to go back to be with the Father, he said he was going to send the Holy Spirit 
and the Holy Spirit would be a, a comforter to you. He said, when Jesus Christ was in the earth, he told his disciples, he said, I want to go to the Father, and then I will send you the Holy Spirit to you. He is the Holy Spirit to you. And the word comforter in the, in the Greek New Testament is a, a paracletos. In the Greek New Testament, in the Greek New Testament, is a paracletos. 在这个希腊文的这个字叫做 propitas， and、uh, that means in the Greek it means to come along someone beside someone and put your arm around them and console them and encourage them in their faith。他这个字的意思就是好像一个人到另外一个人面前，当他是受伤或者呃呃需要人家鼓励的时候，他用手围着他的这是身边，他说我来安慰你。So when the Holy Spirit convicts you or me of sin, He doesn't、uh, take a belt and beat on us. He doesn't shout and scream and holler and, and、uh, condemn us. He comes alongside us and He puts His arm around us and He, he says, "Son or daughter,、uh, look at the righteousness of Jesus." When we are sinned against, when the Holy Spirit comes to our side, He is like He holds His hand out to us and He says, "Son or daughter, look at the r i g h t e o u s 孩子啊，你犯罪了，但是呢，我并没有定你的罪，乃是我要让你知罪。So he shows you your sin in light of Christ's perfectness, and it it brings conviction to you. 因为当你犯罪的时候，他显明你的罪，让你看到耶稣的公义，乃是为我们的罪而死。所以到那种的比较之下，你就知道我错了。And the Spirit says you need to confess that to the Lord. 所以在圣灵中就会告诉我们说，为了这件事情，你必须要认罪。So we'll study in a moment what it means to confess your sins to the Lord. 在下面我们要谈到，也要看到怎么样我们来认罪。But the point I wanted to make now, as we start this study, is to know the difference in condemnation of the devil and conviction by the Holy Spirit. 所以这一节圣经我们需要看的就是什么叫做定罪。什么叫做知罪 ？Now let's turn to First Corinthians chapter ten, verse thirteen. 请我们翻开哥林多前书十章第十三节。你们所遇见的试探，无非是人所能受的。神是信实的，必不叫你们受试探过于所能受的。在受试探的时候，总要给你们开一条出路，叫你们能忍受得住。Remember the difference between temptation and sin. 你们记得吗？是这个试探跟呃罪过有什么不同吗 ？Just because you're tempted, that doesn't mean you have sinned by by having a temptation. 并并不见得，因为你受了试探，你就犯了罪。It's when you give into that temptation and and actually act out that sin that it becomes the sin. 因为你受了试探而。按照试探所执执行的那个那个工作，你就就犯了罪了。Or by acting out, not necessarily physically acting out, but maybe acting it out in your imagination. 当你受试探的时候，你可能不是手去真正去执行，但是你心思意念已经在这里胡思乱想，那时候也就是罪了。You remember the scripture says that Jesus was tempted in all points as we are, yet without sin. 你记不记得是圣经告诉我说，告诉我们说，耶稣受了试探，跟我们一模一样。但是呢，唯一他不没有的是，他没有犯罪。So just because you're tempted, that doesn't mean you have sinned. 不见得就是因为你被受了试探了，你就是犯罪。I don't know about you, but I can be、uh, reading my Bible and、uh, concentrating as best I can on the Scripture, and all of a sudden. The devil will put a lustful thought in my mind. 当我不知道你们的光景，但是我常常有时候会，当我正在念主的话语的时候，突然间有这种情欲、性欲的事情会突然进到我的脑海里面。It's not a sin to be tempted. 并不是因为受试探就是犯罪。It becomes a sin when I allow it、uh, to bring forth the fruit of sin. 如果我把这个呃试试探，把它结出了一个果子出来，坏的果子的话，这就是犯罪。We're going to see in this scripture that he just read how we can、uh, overcome the 
temptation that the enemy brings against us. 我们跟会思想一下刚刚我们所念的这节圣经，怎么样？因为试探，一个人会犯罪。You remember we said that、uh, the greatest battlefield or battleground of the Christian life is in the thought life. 你们知道最大的战场在基督徒是生命当中，乃是我们心思意念。It's in our mind and our thoughts that Satan tempts us. 那是在我们思心思意念来，因为仇敌要试验我们。And we know we need to know how to respond to temptation. 我们要知道如何回应这种试炼、试探。Because if we don't respond correctly, we'll find ourselves actually committing the sin that we're being tempted to commit. 如果我们不知道回应的对的话，我们最后真的就犯了罪。But you don't have to commit the the, the sin that Satan tempts you with. You can stop that that、uh, temptation by certain reactions spiritually. 你其实不要跟自己就就只听这个仇敌对你所做所做的试探，你乃是要受圣灵的掌管。You remember in some of the previous lessons we said that we are to.、Uh, Bring every thought into captivity to Jesus. That's one way to stop the temptation from becoming a sin. 我们记不记得我们提到就是说如何来防止哦呃攻击抵挡这个试探的个这个攻击呢？乃是把所有这些仇敌所给我们的私心私意念带到我们主耶稣面前。Remember a second thing we said in the earlier lesson that we're to cast down the wicked imagination that Satan puts into our thoughts. 就是将所有这个呃撒旦给我们的试探的这个心思意念呢，把它丢出去。And thirdly, we're to to destroy or tear down the stronghold that Satan may have、uh, created in our minds or our thought process. 所以在试试探的时候，从敌有或许经过以前一直放在我们脑脑海的这些大围墙大墙，我们把它摧毁掉。And then fourthly, we said earlier that Jesus used the scripture. Uh, to respond immediately to the attack of temptation by the enemy. You 记不记得当初耶稣在旷野受试探的时候，他立即的反应就是用主的话语、神的经上的话来抵挡这个仇敌。You remember one of the temptations where Satan said to Jesus,、uh, "You're hungry. You haven't eaten in forty days. There's some rocks. Turn those rocks or stones into bread, and you can be filled." 仇敌撒旦对耶稣说：“你已经好几天没吃饭了，已经四十天了，你难道肚子不饿吗？地上的这个石头，你可以把它石头变成食物。” That was a temptation for Jesus、uh, to turn those rocks into bread. 他是试探，要让耶稣把这个石头变成食物。But that was not the Father's will for him to do that. 但是这不是天父的旨意。So Jesus didn't think about it a while and give Satan time to say something else. He immediately quoted the scripture and said, "Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded forth from the mouth of God." So Jesus 对他的回应并没有在那里有有一点犹豫。他马上说，人活着不是靠食物，乃是靠主所给我们的话语。So you know the story. Satan gave up on that temptation, and he went to another temptation. So Satan, 为了这件事情，他就啊放弃了。他又来试一试其他的办法。And as you know, he, he, he tempted Jesus in three broad areas of temptation. But Jesus quoted the scripture and had the scripture in his heart, and immediately responded to the temptation、uh, by the scripture. So Satan 不不断的用其他的三种方法，但是他都没有成功。耶稣基督是马上从心。藏在他心里的主主的话，马上用这个话语来回应。Now in verse thirteen of First、uh, Corinthians ten, it says, "There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man." 他说，呃，没有任何一种试探不是，呃，人所能受的，是神是信实的。Satan would have you to think that you're the only one who is tempted by that particular、uh, temptation. 撒旦会让你认为，就是说，你只我有你这一个人才会受到这个试探，没有别人会受到这种试探。I've been counseling for over 50 years, and people will tell me, "I'm going to tell you something that I've never told anyone else," and they'll tell me about some temptation they've had, and they think no one else has been tempted like this. 所以有我经常在五十年的这个指导人家的这这个呃呃生活的光景的时候。有许多人常见告诉我说：“哦，这种试探我有
好像别人向来都没有过。But I'm able to tell them almost everyone that comes in for counseling has experienced the same temptation you have. The enemy just told you you're the only one. That's a lie. 我告诉你，其实他对这些人来看看看淡波波人，他说你这种试探是不是只有你一个人？其实这五十年当中，每一个人来看我的。都有同样的试探，因为仇敌要用这种谎言来看到，嗯、呃，来这个试探你，也让你知道说你是唯一最坏的一个人。So Satan tempts all of us in very much the same way. 所以撒旦来试探我们的方法都是一样。And the reason we th- we think we're the only one is is because we're not honest with each other to tell and confess our faults to one another, like the Scripture says. Therefore, we think we're the only one that had that kind of temptation. 我们之所以会只感觉我们是一一唯一的呢，因为我们常常在弟弟兄或姊妹面前，我们不敢真正的认罪。The first time as a Christian that I had a lustful thought to come to my mind, I was just nine or ten years old. But when I would be on my knees in prayer at the front of of an assembly of believers. Praying to the Lord with the earnestness in my heart, and all of a sudden, this thought of of、uh, fornication or perversion came into my mind, and I thought, where did that come from? When I was very young, I remember I was in the front of the congregation praying. And all of a sudden, this thought of fornication or perversion came into my mind, and I thought, where did that come from? When I was very young, I remember I was in the front of the congregation praying. And all of a sudden, this thought of fornication or perversion came into my mind, and I thought, 那时候我有这种事情，这样我就是实在这个很污秽、很肮脏。我为什么是是不愿意服侍主？还有居然有这种心思意念在我脑海里。And I felt real condemned. 那我自己就对自己定罪了。And defeated. 那我觉得我实在是一个失败的人。And feelings came over me. Well, if you were really praying like you said you were, you would be thinking things like that. 然后就心思意念这个告诉我说，哦，如果你真正在祷告，然后专心祷告，你有这种。心思意念，那你的心思意念是不对的。And I had other thoughts like that. I just felt real depressed about it. 那我因为有这样思想，我就心里非常的忧郁。Because I thought that was the Holy Spirit telling me that, but it wasn't. It was the devil condemning me. 我提前以为这是圣灵在干谴责我，但是其实不是，乃是仇敌撒旦在指责我。He was trying to tell me that because I had a temptation thought. That I had sinned against God, and that's not so. He is trying to tell me that because you were tempted, you sinned. But the fact is not so. Just because you have a thought that causes you to sin, that does not mean you are sinning. Just because you have a thought that causes you to sin, that does not mean you are sinning. Just because you have a thought that causes you to sin, that does not mean you are sinning. Just because you have a thought that causes you to sin, that does not mean you are sinning. Just because you have a thought that causes you to sin, that does not mean you are sinning. Just because you have a thought that causes you to sin, that does not mean you are sinning. Just because you have a thought that causes you to sin, that does not mean you are sinning. Just because you have a thought that causes you to sin, that does not mean you are sinning. Just because you have a thought that causes you to sin, that does not mean you are sinning. Just because you have a thought that causes you to sin, that does not mean you are sinning. Just because you have So I cried out to the Lord and I asked Him to forgive me for this thought. So I was like, "Yes, the Lord, I pray to you, forgive me for this thought." And the Lord, through the Holy Spirit, showed me that just because I was tempted, I had not sinned. But the Holy Spirit told me just because I was tempted, I had not sinned. But the Holy Spirit told me just because I was tempted, I had not sinned. But the Holy Spirit told me just because I was tempted, I had not sinned. But the Holy Spirit told me just because I was tempted, I had not sinned. But the Holy Spirit told me just because I was tempted, I had not sinned. But the Holy Spirit told me just because I was tempted, I had not sinned. But the Holy Spirit told me just because I was tempted, I had not sinned. But the Holy Spirit told me just because I was tempted, I had not sinned. But the Holy Spirit told me just because I was tempted, I had not sinned. But the Holy Spirit told me just because I was tempted, I had not sinned. But the Holy Spirit told me just 呃，试探跟罪混淆在一起，因为两者是不一样的。So when the scripture says there is no temptation that you've experienced that is not common to every other person， 所以你说你没有受到试探，那是绝对不一样的。And like I said, the reason we don't know that other people have the same struggles is because we're not honest with one another。当我们以为说其他人没有像我这样子的这个呃挣扎。那是错的，因为有的人不是不愿意讲而已。Because the Scripture commands confess your faults one to another。因为是圣经告诉我们说，你们要彼此认罪。So if we were really living out that Scripture, we would have been talking to one another, not gossiping or anything like that, but sharing our heart and say, "I'm struggling with this temptation." 所以，当我们有这种情况的时候，我们要找一个我们亲爱的弟兄或者亲爱的姊妹。我就告诉他，我实在有这种试探发生在我这里，我要向你认罪，求你也帮我祷告。And then your brother or sister, who whomever you're speaking to, 
would say, yes, I struggle with the same thing. So when you just put your heart open, you and your brothers or sisters say, I have the same situation. And then you're able to say, well, I'm not the only one. I have other brothers and sisters who are battling the same battles. So when you share with others, you find that your brothers and sisters have the same problems. So it's important to realize that we need to confess our faults to one another, be honest with one another. So it's important to realize that we need to confess our faults to one another, be honest with one another. So it's important to realize that we need to confess our faults to one another, be honest with one another. So it's important to realize that we need to confess our faults to one another, be honest with one another. So it's important to realize that we need to confess our faults to one another, be honest with one another. So it's important to realize that we need to confess our faults to one another, be honest with one another. So it's important to realize that we need to confess our faults to one another, be honest with one another. So it's important to realize that we need to confess our faults to one another, be honest with one another. So it's important to realize that we need to confess our faults to one another, be honest with one another. So it's important to realize that we That they can just share the struggles of their Christian life with. 我这我是在鼓励你们弟兄与弟兄之间，姊妹与姊妹之间，需要找一个伴好的伴侣，好的这个呃，能够跟你一起祷告的同伴。你们彼此分享你们生命在主生命当中一些很多挣扎的事情。Someone that you can be real open and honest with, and you're not afraid to tell them anything. 有些弟，就说你。嗯，你找的这这个同伴，必须要你能够对他诚实，他对你诚实。那之间所知所分享的这些挣扎的事情，绝对不要成为一个闲言闲言闲语。So that they can encourage you， 所以他能够鼓励你。They can、uh, hold you accountable， 他使你不仅双方之间能够彼此负责任。They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation by showing you the scripture how to be victorious. They can help you walk through the temptation He'll isolate you from other people. He, if he can make you think you're the only one who has had this sin or this temptation, he'll isolate you from other people. He, if he can make you think you're the only one who has had this sin or this temptation, he'll isolate you from other people. He, if he can make you think you're the only one who has had this sin or this temptation, he'll isolate you from other people. He, if he can make you think you're the only one who has had this sin or this temptation, he'll isolate you from other people. He, if he can make you think you're the only one who has had this sin or this temptation, he'll isolate you from other people. He, if he can make you think you're the only one who has had this sin or this temptation, he'll isolate you from other people. He, if he can make you think you're the only one who has had this sin or this temptation, he'll isolate you from other people. He, if he can make you think you're the only one who has had this sin or this temptation, he'll isolate you from other people. He, if he can make you think you're the only one who has had this sin or this temptation, he'll isolate you from other people. He, if he can make you think you're the only one who has had this sin or this temptation, he'll isolate you from other people. He, if he can make you think you're the only one who has had this sin or this temptation, he'll isolate you from other people. He, if he can make you think you're the only one who Uh, one to another, we're able to、uh, get it out in the open and get it out of this secretive thing. So when we confess our sins, we can hide the secret of our hearts, and we can hide the secret of our hearts. So when we confess our sins, we can hide the secret of our hearts, and we can hide the secret of our hearts. So when we confess our sins, we can hide the secret of our hearts, and we can hide the secret of our hearts. Satan 经常用这个这罪来把我们呃呃呃孤独起来、孤立起来，也用罪的感觉来定我们的罪。But if we learn to be honest and open about the struggles that we have, another brother or sister can help us walk through it, and we can walk it out together. 所以，如果我们把我们的心打开的话，你的同伴的弟兄，或者你是或者你姊妹们，你们就可以一起行过这一段。Another trick Satan has is he tries to keep our sin a secret. 另外一点就是我们的仇敌希望我们的把我们的这罪藏隐藏起来，算是一种保密。Did you ever notice that most sins are done are committed in the dark? 你有没有发现很多的罪是发生在暗处 ？And if not total darkness, it's it's uh, uh, committed in、uh, secrecy. 托盘是发生在说隐秘的地方。Just think about that. 你想想看，是不是这个样子 ？Most sins that we commit are either in darkness or in secrecy. 你要知道，多半的罪是发生在黑暗的地方或隐秘处。That's a part of Satan's trick to isolate us from other members of the body. 这是撒旦的一种伎俩，希望把我们孤立起来。But if we confess our fault to our brother or our sister, then we get it out in the open. It's no longer a secret, and it takes away the the secretiveness or the darkness of it. So, when we confess our sins to our brother or sister, 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 confess our sins to
I, I need to tell you something that's going on in my life, a sin in my life, and I'll sit there and, and I'll listen to what they're telling me. 我有时候有许多人来到我面前，要我指导他们的生活、生命的事、事事情，他们会告诉我说我在暗处做了些什么事情。And as they describe the sin that they've committed, when it was secret, it seemed so enticing to them. It seemed so exciting and so thrilling and felt so good, whatever. But as they talked about it to me, the more they talked, the uglier it got. They realized. That wasn't good at all. That wasn't fun at all. That that I should have done that. 当他们把这在我面前把这个事情讲出来以后，原来他们在隐秘处，他们觉得哦，这个实在很不，一方面不能见人，一方面就觉得哦，这个东西好像很多的机密。但是当他把这些事情全部讲出来以后，不觉得是
if a person is tempting you to have sexual relationships with them and, and you're not married and, and uh, they want you to commit fornication or some perversion, uh, you can immediately say, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I don't do things like that. 当有人来跟你说，哦，我们有一个不正常的性行为关系的话，如果你被试探的时候，你可以告诉这个人说，我的身体就是圣灵的殿。So you need to immediately respond uh, with the word of God, and immediate response is very critical when you're tempted. 所以你立即的反应是非常非常的重要。The truth is, Satan only has a, three tricks in his trick bag. 所以在這這個呃撒旦的這個模式就是他的計量的袋子裡面只有三個方式方法。Three basic temptations, all temptations fall into these three categories. 他只有這個三個方辦法。He used all three of them on Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. 他用這三個方法在這個亞當夏娃當他們在伊甸園的時候。and he used all three of them on Jesus when he tempted him in the wilderness. And here's what they are. The lust of the eyes. The lust of the flesh. And the pride of life. Every temptation that you or I experience from Adam to our generation. Satan has used those three basic temptations to try to get us to sin. 从亚当夏娃一直到今天为止, 这个, 他就是用这三个伎俩. He, he first tries to uh, show us the fruit, let us see the fruit like he did to Eve. 他第一个, 给我们看看这个很美的这个, 呃, 果子. In our time, it will not be fruit, it might be uh, a, a a pornographic picture or something like that that he tries to allure us to. 他今天的世界很可能是一种用一种色情的电影或色情的照片. And so he says he does everything he can to make us lust with our eyes. 他就做各样的这种照片或者电影让我们眼目去看他. If that doesn't work, then he stirs up the... the uh, Sexual part of us in our body, and he makes us lust with our our bodies. 那这个如果不不不行的话，他在让用肉体的方式，情欲来让我们让我们被引诱。If that doesn't work, he he does something to make us feel proud and and want to be like God. 他如果这个还不行的话，他就让我们有一个骄傲的心，就像我们骄傲到一个程度，我们像神一样。So every temptation that you experience. Uh, in your Christian life and I experience falls into these three categories. So, 不管任何的试探, 都, 都不会出来这种三种方式来试探我们. So, if you, if you hear these temptations and it sounds like you've heard it before, you have. It's the same old trick Satan's been using since Adam and Eve. 所以我们当听到这种试探的话, 我们就知道这种伎俩就是从亚当夏娃开始到今天就是用同样的方式。now let's turn to Ephesians chapter 6. Beginning with verse 10. And what I'll do is, is ask you to just read one verse at a time and I'll make comment. Okay. It's verse 10 through uh, 18. 从十节到十八节, 我现在先念第十节, 我还有未了的话, 你们要靠着主, I'm going to give you now from the scripture one of the most effective ways uh, to keep a temptation from becoming a sin in your life. Yes, I did. Verse 10 says, he's talking to us brethren, that would be sisters and brothers, He's saying, be strong in the Lord, in the power of His might. That's the Lord's might. 他说, 你们要靠着主, the first point the scripture makes is that our strength and our power is not in us, it's in the Lord. 那是我们的大能大力, 不是靠什么, 乃是依赖主自己. 
Don't ever try to, to uh, battle Satan or demonic spirits in your own strength. 千万不要用你自己的力量来抵挡这个仇敌或撒旦 we, We're fighting against principalities and powers We're fighting against demonic spirits You can't do it in your own strength 你是与这个魔鬼征战我靠我们的力量是绝对不够的 You remember the story uh, in the scripture of the sons of Sceva Who tried to cast out demons in their own strength and the demon said, we know Paul, and we know Cephas, and we know others, but who are you? And they jumped all over them and, and uh, ripped their clothes off them. They ran off naked. So when you're combating uh, temptation, don't do it in your own strength. Immediately, according to verse 10, you are to call upon the strength of the Lord and the power of His might. Satan can defeat you and me, but he can't defeat the Lord Jesus. Satan can defeat you and me, but he can't defeat the Lord Jesus. And if we claim the might and power of Jesus, Satan can't defeat us either. 如果我们靠着耶稣基督的名来征战的话，那个撒旦也不能战胜我们。That's the reason the Scripture says, "Take every thought captive to Jesus." 所以圣经上说，将我们的心思意念就放在耶稣基督的身上。Because if you try to deal with it, the, the devil will defeat you and me every time. But if you'll take that tempting thought to Jesus, the devil will leave you alone because Jesus is greater than the devil in the world. The next thing he says is in verse 11. 第十一节, 他说, 要穿在神所示的全副军装, he tells us as Christians to put on the whole armor of God. Now this armor is very descriptive of, of the Roman soldiers of the day that Paul wrote this, uh, this letter. So it, as we have the time to, in this session and the next session, we'll describe what this armor is and how we put it on. But you'll note that it's the armor of God. Just as our strength that is, is in the Lord and the power of His might, so our armor is provided by God. It's not something we do, it's the armor of God. And He gives us this armor to put on so that we can stand against the wiles of the devil. The word wiles means like trickery of the devil. So Remember I said a moment ago the devil basically only has three tricks in his bag? Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and pride of life. 肉是眼目的情欲，呃呃，肉体的，这精神的骄傲。Then the next verse twelve。然后第十二节，因我们并不是与属肉血气的征战，乃是与那些执政的、掌权的、管辖这幽暗世界的，以及天宫属灵气的恶魔征战。so it says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. If you were in a wrestling match, uh, in fact, uh, is, is Jeff still here? Must have gone back to the room. <clears throat> Jeff uh, today was, or yesterday was arm wrestling with some of you guys. And uh, you couldn't get him down, so you used two hands to get him, <laughs> to get, get him down. 
as long as you're wrestling with somebody that's flesh and blood like you are, you might be able to beat them up or arm wrestle them. So he is talking about the fighting. The English says the fighting. He says if you are one person. 力量嘛，不不，对方如果很强的话，你要两个人，你要跟他一起摔跤。You didn't tell him about you. Oh no, I didn't. Yeah. I want you to tell him. About OK， yeah, 他讲昨天你们跟这 Jeff 这这呃老师在那里摔跤的时候，要两个人要把他搬了才能搬得下来，是不是 ？So the, the the illustration is to help you to see that if you're fighting flesh and blood or someone like you, you can you can defeat them, but you can't defeat the enemy in your strength. 所以你要知道，你当你要就战胜你的仇敌的时候，你有时候一个人没有办法战胜他。So he says, not only don't、uh, wrestle with someone who isn't flesh and blood, but we're wrestling against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness. 他说，我们在这里的不是只跟血气的摔跤，乃是与那执政的、掌权的、与管辖着幽暗世界的摔跤。So it's important to note you cannot overcome the enemy and the temptation of your mind that Satan puts there in your own strength. 你要知道，靠我们自己的力量绝对没有办法克服这个呃撒旦在我们心思意念当当中放在我们心思意念当中的试探。Then、uh, let's read verse thirteen. 所以要拿起神所赐的全副军装，好在磨难的日子抵挡仇敌，并且成就了一切。So he says, it's one thing to have the armor of God; it's another thing to take unto you the armor of God. 他说，一方面要拿起神所所赐的全副军装，好在磨难的日子成就一切。So tonight, if you just listen to what I have to say, and you say, "Yeah, I know about the armor of God," but you don't put it on, it's not going to do any good. 当说，当于你说哦，我知道神的全副军装，但是我不把这个军装穿上的话，这军装对你来讲还是没用的。Also, if you don't take on the whole armor of God, it's not going to do you any good. 如果你不打把全副军装，你只穿穿了军装的一部分也是没用的。Just like you would say, well, I know the Bible says that I have armor, but I'm not going to use it, or I choose not to use it. 他说，如果我知道。这个高圣经上告诉我，哦，我们可以用这神所赐的全副军装，但是我不用它也是没用的。It'd be just as foolish not to use all of the armor of God. Just say, well, I don't need all of it. I'll just use the sword. 我如果神给我们全副军装，我说我不要穿全副装，我只要用一把剑就够了。It's absolutely essential that you put on every piece of armor that God describes here in this passage. 所以在这里圣经上所说的。所有军装所必须征战的这武器，你全部要放上去。If you take on the whole armor, that is, put it on. Now, just talk about it. I know it's there, but put on the armor of God. You'll be able to withstand the evil day. 他说，你如果拿起这神所赐的全副军装，你在磨难的日子就能够抵挡仇敌。That evil day might be the day that Satan tempts you, or it might be looking toward uh, other uh, evil days ahead of you. 那就在这个仇敌这攻击你的那一个日子的时候，你就可以抵挡。So we're going to describe the way God gives us an escape from temptation. 所以我们要去解释神怎么样帮助我们逃出这个试探。So that we don't have to give in to the temptation and sin against the Lord. 所以我们不要向这个试探来低头。Verse fourteen tells us the the、uh, first of several pieces of armor we're to put on. 第十四节说，所以我要站稳了，用真理当作带子束腰，用公义当作护心镜遮胸。He said the first piece of armor in order to combat the temptation of, of Satan and to keep from sinning is to、uh, gird your loins with truth. 他说第一个方式，你要就用真理当作带子来束腰。Your loins would be from about your knees up to a little above your waist. Is that area that is talking about? 他这里说的这个带子是从你的这膝盖以上一直到你的腰部。So we're to gird our loins with truth. 他说用真理当做带子束腰。As we describe this armor, I want you to note something that's very important. 
这个有关真理的事，我要让你们清楚的知道。Everything about this armor is a description of Jesus. 这里所说的这些的这个呃军装的每一个部分，都是谈到耶稣基督。As we put on the armor and we see what it is, when you get through and you have all the armor on, you have put on the Lord Jesus Christ. 当你看到这个军装的每一个每一个部位的时候，当你穿上的时候，你就是耶稣基督。That was amazing to me when I first discovered this some years ago. As I was studying this, I realized what you're doing is just putting on Jesus. 当我注意到这些这话语的时候，我就慢慢慢慢发觉，在几年以前，哦，这个就是把基督自己放在我们的身上。I ask the question of you: Who is truth? 我们告诉问你们，什么叫谁是真理？ Who said in Scripture, "I am the way, the truth, and the life"? 是不是记不记得在约翰福音里面十四章讲说，我就是道路、真理、生命。It's Jesus. 就是耶稣基基督自己。So we're to put on Jesus、uh, around our loins, as it were. 就是我们将基督放在我们的身上当带子。By putting on truth. 将把真理放在我们身上。One of the things that we as believers should always be noted for is that we speak the truth in love. So we, as Christians, must always be noted for the fact that we speak the truth in love. We must always be noted for the fact that we speak the truth in love. We must always be noted for the fact that we speak the truth in love. We must always be noted for the fact that we speak the truth in love. We must always be noted for the fact that we speak the truth in love. We must always be noted for the fact that we speak the truth in love. We must always be noted for the fact that we speak the truth in love. We must always be noted for the fact that we speak the truth in love. We must always be noted for the fact that we speak the truth in love. We must always be noted for the fact that we speak the truth in love. We must always be noted for the fact that we speak the So you're putting on the Lord Jesus Christ and and the words He spoke to us by the revelation of His Spirit. So you 你穿上了真理，他这个自己就成我们的救恩。The second piece of armor, and, and we'll close our session with this. Second piece of armor is the breastplate of righteousness. 第二部分的这个呃军装就是胸牌，护心的这护所谓的护心镜。Again, this is putting on Jesus. 这也是说。我们将耶稣放在穿在上我们身上。Who is our righteousness? 谁是我们的公义 ？Jesus. 耶稣基督。We have no righteousness within ourselves. 我们自己不没有办法称义。Whatever righteousness you and I have, God says it's filthy rags. 我们哪哪来的公义？耶稣基督说，我们只是一个呃脏的一个地毯。Just as our loins are protected by the shield of, of the armor of truth, so our、uh, breasts, our breastplate, protects our chest area. 我们用当我们用真理做带子的时候，然后用公义当我们护心牌的时候，这都是耶稣基督就挡住我们的前面。These two vital areas of the of the the heart and the loin are, are two critical areas in battle. 这个两个位置是在我们征战的时候最重要的部位，来保护我们。The area, the other fatal area would be the head. 另外一个必须这个致命伤，就是我们的头。If you're going to shoot someone and you're going to shoot to kill, 你要是要杀死一个人，或要把他一枪毙命。You either Shoot them in the head, in the heart, or if you want them to bleed to death, you shoot them in the in the middle or the、uh, the stomach area. So you want one shot to kill them, you want to shoot them in the head, or shoot them in the stomach, or shoot them in the stomach area. So the enemy knows our weak places. 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 And gird your loins, another area of destructiveness potentially. Gird it with truth. So, so those are the first two pieces of the armor, and we'll conclude our session now and pick up at our next session the breastplate of righteousness. So, so those are the first two pieces of the armor, and we'll conclude our session now and pick up at our next session on the rest of the armor God provides for you and me. To be able to overcome any temptation the enemy might bring to our mind and not let it become a sin. So we now end the session here. Tomorrow we will continue to share the rest of the armor. We know the truth as a breastplate, the truth as a breastplate to protect us. Amen. 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 Amen